moral licensing be aware of it have you heard about it hello champions i'm dr meghna dikshit author of you matter and i'm thrilled to welcome you to our channel here we explore the fascinating realms of mind and brain share the secrets to success help you heal your past and prepare for a brilliant future if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell and to all our returning viewers a heartfelt welcome moral licensing have you heard about it what is it let me explain one fine day my friend and me were having a conversation about how people tend to give excuses for their current behavior because they have behaved well in the past i asked her what does she mean by this here's what she said my father has deep anger issues in anger he raises his hand on my mother a lot i have grown up seeing this it hurts me to see my mother so helpless and my father so pathetic my father one day explained that he's a good husband he loves his wife a lot he has always been a supporter for her working and being financially independent he has never stopped her from spending her own money so sometimes when he gets angry he goes out of control and raises his hand on her and it's okay My friend was sharing this with me and asking me is it wrong that she feels her father is wrong just because he's a good husband and he loves her does not give him a right to excuse his own anger issues there are two separate things here one cannot be the cause for the other i naturally told her what she's feeling is not wrong at all but this conversation made me think deeper How often do we excuse our behavior by giving the reasons that we have always been good earlier? I know I have done that. I would cheat on my diet saying today I have had a rigorous workout so it's fine if I eat that dessert. Have you noticed this about you or someone around you? Tomorrow I have a very heavy day so today I will just while away my time. We often see people in power, be it a parent or a boss, excuse their bad behavior on inappropriate behavior by saying that it's okay as they are otherwise very conscious and upright and just. Have you come across people like this in your family or around you? Type and let me know who is that person in your life that you have seen behaving like this. This kind of behavior is called moral licensing. we use our prior good behavior to justify our current bad behavior just because you have been consistently going to the gym does not entitle you to eat processed food it's not okay just because you care for your child's well being does not entitle you to once in a while raise your hand to discipline it's not okay just because you are for women empowerment and are always fighting for women causes does not entitle you to make sexist or lewd comments about women colleagues in public or otherwise it's not okay does this resonate with you and if you would want more help from me there are two links posted in the chat box first is to register for my live seminar to train your brain to achieve all your goals and second you can purchase my book you matter through the link and start your personal growth journey with me But why does this moral licensing happen? The answer lies in our conditioning. Since childhood, we are conditioned into good and bad. There is a reward attached to good and punishment attached to bad. What we have to understand is that eating that dessert does not make me a bad person, nor does consistently exercising make me a good person. They are not correlated. You loving someone deeply does not make you a good person and you abusing that same person does not make you a bad person. It's a behavior trait and has to be looked at that way only. In isolation. There is a saying, condemn the act and not the person. But our environment castigates the person as a good or a bad person. And because of this there is this constant war within us of wanting to be good or looked upon as good. Does this resonate? Type resonate in the chat box. How do we overcome this moral licensing behavior? So get your pen and paper and start writing. Step 1. Become aware. What is your self-talk around good and bad behavior? 
notice your conversations with your family friends colleagues and in general how often you castigate yourself as good or bad do you often find yourself apologizing for not working on your goals let me know in the chat box step 2 what is your why for very goal why do you want to lose that weight why do you want to discipline your child why do you get angry why do you support any public causes when you will do this exercise you will realize whether what you are pursuing does it align with your top values step 3 is view your choices what you choose today will turn into your commitment for tomorrow is the choice you're making today in alignment with your goal step 4 work on your emotional beliefs and patterns that are at the root of the moral licensing behavior get a good mentor and go to the root stem of that pattern Emotional stability paves the foundation for a balanced way of living. And step 5 is bring that shift in your focus. I ate that cake because I wanted to and not because I exercised well today. Don't give yourself these excuses. Be focused on the truth in that reality. Did you get this? Type IGI in the chat box and share this video with your friends and family. There are two more ways I can help you. There are two links posted in the chat box. First is to register for my live seminar to train your brain to achieve all your goals. And second, you can purchase my book You Matter through the link and start your personal growth journey with me. Until then, next time.